plant normally regards as non-intelligent because they do not move or talk, nor display agile response to stimuli like animals. But in nature, there are many types of plants demonstrating fascinating behaviors. For example, Venus flytrap catch insect when it crosses into the lobes. Mimosa plants close the leaf when you touch them. Some flowers always glow facing the sun, and the tendrils of cucumber coil a pole to climb higher. In fact, not only these plants, there are many other plants are intelligent. They are seeking, they are sensing the environment and seeking the most favorable way of living. That's why they are on the earth everywhere for millions of years. I believe many of you in the audience have plants at home, being aloe vera, Davis ivy, flowers, or herbs like basil or mint. Have you ever left these lovely plants uncomfortable, feeding them with too much of water or too less, too strong or too shady sunlight? Or you totally have no idea why they are not striving. Well, probably you want a super magic power to read their minds under these certain sentences. Or you wish you, these plants can open their mouths and tell you, hi, buddy, I want more water. Plants do have their long ang ang language, which help them to communicate among themselves, with their neighbors, or with other species. Not only we do not understand plants, but plants do not understand us. Why? Because human being is not naturally equipped ability to understand plant language. That's why we didn't realize their intelligence also do not know their needs. Just like two straps who wish to live in harmony but speak different language. Humans and plants need to communicate. Only then we can understand each other and coexist in this Mother Earth without cold conviction. To realize human plan communication, a language translator is essential. Plants use many types of language, but this one type of language we can easily capture and decode. That is called electrical signal. Similar to electric signal produced by neurons in animals, electric signal in plants carries information of environment and travel across the human plant body and allow plants to respond quickly to environmental change. This signal can be captured by modern electronics and with translation, we can understand what they are speaking. Based on this principle, my team developed technology to communicate with plants. The first step to develop such technology is need a device which can read electrical signal on plants and also can then send electric signal to plants. This device is called electrode. Traditional electrodes 
in matter of rigid metal or semiconductor materials. They can cause harm to plants if we directly link them with plants. So we engineer electrodes with the other kind of materials, like soft materials, water-rich and jelly-like materials. Those materials can make electrodes soft and also very gentle safe to, like, to plants. Moreover, because the water-rich materials is very soft and sticky, it can fully cover rough plant surface, improve signal transmission quality. These materials can be applied in liquid form, so it is really gentle to the plant. Even on this type of hairy plants, it can confirm the surface very well, dramatically improve the signal quality and the stability for long time monitoring. Now we have electrodes to signal transmission. What's next is to speak to the plants, use the language they can understand. In other words, to send electric signal to the plants that can respond. This time, we use Vena Fire Trap to work with. Vena Fire Trap is known as insect catching capability. When it sends the insect or other objects, the lobes close. This closure is also accompanied by an electrical potential, more especially action potential. The action potential is a electrical spike, which carries information of touch and the signal to the venous flat trap to close. We test whether just solely sending the electric signal to a venous flat trap without touching it, it could trigger it to close. It out, turned out, yes, it works. This is exciting starting point. It means just sending a proper signal to the plants. They can understand and respond. We learn to proceed to vary the format of potential spike. And in many of them successful, it could trigger the closure of fly, fly trap. The potential spike can be easily generated by electronics. So it means it opens a whole world possibility using electronics to control venous fire trap. For assistance, we design assistance linking a smartphone app with spec generation electronics with the venous fire trap using our soft electrodes. When you press the button on the smartphone, the venous fire trap close. But what can we be able to do, talk to Venus Fire Trap? Well, we can make this kind of Venus Fire Trap work as a robot. The ropes can be cut off from other Fire Trap and install any place you want. They can function as a gripper to pick up the thin wires or moving objects. This is only possible because we can communicate with the Venus Fire Trap and precisely the closure, control closure. Well, now we can understand the plant, talk to the plant in language they can understand. We also try to listen to plant speaking. When a plant is damaged by heat stress, we can observe a blood peak in electrical potential. This type of signals is equivalent to plant speaking. Help me, help me. We also can use this kind of activity to know when the plant it works, it watered. A potential change is triggered by watering, captured by the system, and translated to a text message sent to your phone and tell you your plant is watered. 
In fact, not only this one, but many other things we can work on in this one. Furthermore, the demonstration detects plant response to light and dark by observing potential fluctuations. There are many other environmental stimuli we can investigate, such as drought, coldness, pest feeding, microorganism infection. If we could differentiate the electrical signal sent out by these plants under these circumstances, then we can better understand what they need. This will help farmers to grow healthy crops if they know the health condition in real time. Water, light, and nutrition can be delivered right to crops when they need, reducing the wastage and boosting the productivity. Through decoding plant electrical language, we hope to take better care of them. We also hope to utilize plant intelligence to help humankind, transforming plants into living sensors by decoding their response to monitor environment and predict its change. Some plants are extremely sensitive to environmental pollutant in air, water, or soil. We can harness their response to environmental pollutant for environmental monitoring, for instance, using plants to monitor the toxic gas level in factories. Such living sensors are not only environmental friendly and sustainable, but also make environmental more naturally aesthetic and delightful. With the proper tool to communicate with the plants, we hope to master plant language, understanding how they communicate with themselves or with their neighbors. We are just at the early stage to review the intelligence of plants. What magic power those plants possess that we are not aware of? How we can learn from plants and utilize their intelligence, we will not answer until we engage in more depth, understanding, and a dialogue with plants. Thank you.